So in this video, we are going to discuss about a rice time, rice time TR. Okay, so it is a time used to increase the signal from 10% to 90%. That is, uh, if uh, if I am giving the input voltage like this, okay, one zero. After that, it is going to one. So uh, since it is an inverter, um, when uh, it is zero, means the output goes to one, right? So um, it's a time it raises from 10% uh, of uh, maximum voltage to the difference between the 10% of maximum voltage uh, minus uh, difference between the 90% of uh, that is uh, between this region okay this is your rise time so it is rising from 0.1 VDD uh, to um, 0.9 VDD okay so uh, here we are only considering the um, PMOS. Why? Because um, if I give uh, zero to the uh, V in, uh, PMOS will conduct. Then uh, the the value in the source, okay, it will goes to the um, output, right? So this is a rise time. This is how we are uh, in PMOS only. We are going to calculate the rise time, okay? So I can write uh, uh, when the PMOS conducting, uh, there will be a flow of current from uh, the supply to the uh, output, right? From VDD to um, this, this capacitor will started to charging. Okay. So I can write uh, I is equal to CV. Okay. IDS, I, IDS of P uh, because the uh, is flowing in the PMOS region. IDS P is equal to CL. DV out, DV out divided by DT. Okay. So, what is D out, uh, DV out divided by DT? It is nothing but the final voltage minus initial voltage divided by um, final time minus initial time. So, what is the final voltage? The finally it will going to charge as VDD. Okay. So, initially it is zero. The capacitor initially it is um, zero finally it is going to charge as vdd okay so vdd minus zero divide by time so time is um, uh, total time it will take t okay so so that i am writing it as t so i can write uh, tr is equal to cl vdd divided by id sp we know that IDSP is equal to beta p into vgsp minus vtp the whole square divide by 2 okay so, so this 2 will go up now i am going to equate this uh, vgp vgs uh, p is equal to minus vdd because since i am giving a vn as um, uh, less than uh, 0 volt right so i can take uh, vgs p is equal to minus vdd and vtp this value vtp is equal to minus 0 0.2 vdd because that is also a negative value then only it will conduct right so after substituting here i will get um, uh, i will get uh, 0 0.8 right so if we substitute here i will get um, 0 0.8 minus 0 0.8 right okay on squaring i will get uh, 0 0.64 vdd square okay so on solving this 2 and uh, 0 0.64 i will get 0 0.32 um, so on solving i will get um, um, 25 divided by 8 so that is approximately equal to 3 cl divided by beta p vdd so what is uh, rise time now? T R is, is uh, proportional to um, C L and in, it is inversely proportional to beta and supply voltage. Okay. So I can solve in another way also. Okay. So I can write uh, v, v out is equal to V D D uh, into one minus E E power minus T divided by R C. This is a capacitor uh, while charging. Okay. This is the equation for um, the capacitance which is charging. Okay. So maximum value it will charge up to VDD. Okay, 
um, um, if I equate this equation, I will get 1 minus V out divided by VDD is equal to E power minus T divided by RC. And taking ln on both sides, I will get T is equal to minus RC ln VDD minus V out divided by VDD. Okay. So, at time T is equal to 1. Okay, at time t is equal to 1, it is, uh, it is showing the, the VDD value is 0 0.1 VDD. Okay. Since I am going to find the rise time, it is a difference between 0 0.1 uh, uh, to 0 0.9, right? So, at t1, it is uh, the value of uh, V out is 0 0.1 VDD. So, I am going to substitute here. Okay. So, if the minus it will go here, uh, the denominator and numerator will interchange. So, I am getting VDD divided by VDD minus instead of V out, I am substituting uh, 0 0.1 VDD. So, on solving, I will get RC ln 10 divided by 9. Similarly, for T2, that is at uh, T2, it is 0 0.9 VDD, V out. So, on substituting, I will get uh, RC ln 10. So, if, you subst if I subtract this one, I will get uh, uh, RC ln 9. So, ln 9 value is 2.2 RC. We know that F is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi RC. I can substitute instead of uh, uh, RC, I can also substitute 1 divided by 2 pi F. So, I will get TR is equal to 0 0.35 F. Okay. And uh, we also know that um, from the saturation equation, um, IDSP is equal to beta P VGS minus VT the whole square divided by 2. So, instead of R, I am going to substitute. I am going to equate this TR is equal to is, uh, approximately equal to 3 CL divided by beta VD. Okay. So, for that, um, if I differentiate this equation, I will get um, uh, 1 divided by R because uh, I by V is R. Okay. 1 by R. I by V is equal to 1 by R. So, if I differentiate this one, I will get beta P VGS minus VTP. So, instead of this RP, I am going to substitute here. Okay. Uh, instead of this R, I am going to substitute this value. So, if I substitute this value, I will get 2.2 uh, C divided by uh, beta P, which is minus uh, VTP. So, I am going to substitute uh, the VTP value is equal to 0 point minus uh, 0 0.2 VDD and uh, for uh, VGS, I am going to substitute VDD. So, if I solve, uh, I will get uh, TR is, is approximately equal to 3C divided by beta P VDD, 3CL, okay. So, similarly, you can do it for uh, the fall time also, okay. The fall time, you have to consider the N mass. So, uh, the same equation, IDSP is equal to CL uh, DV out divided by DT. So, what is your um, initial value? Initial value, it is, uh, it is VDD and the final value is 0. The total time taken is um, uh, T okay, so I am going to substitute here VDD by IDSN, and uh, we know that the value of IDSN right uh, beta P beta N VGS N minus VTN the uh, whole square divided by 2, and you are going to substitute VGS as uh, VDD and uh, VTN as uh, 0 0.2 VDD. <coughs> so, once if you substitute, I will get uh, the similar value as. Um, TF is uh, approximately equal to 3 CL divided by beta in VDD. Okay. So, this is also a same value that 2.2 uh, you will get 2.2 R CL. Okay. So, uh, if I substitute, uh, uh, if I uh, divide the TR and TF value, I will get 1 divided by beta P divided by beta n that is equal to uh, beta n uh, TR is equal to beta n divided by beta P. So, we know that beta n is equal to mu n uh, c ox w by l of n divided by mu n c ox mu p c ox w by l of p. The c ox c x will cancel out and uh, we know that uh, mu, <coughs> uh, mu n is equal to 2.5 times of mu p. So, uh, mu p mu p will cancel, you will get 2.5. So, if I equate the, 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 if I am having the same geometry, that is W by L of N is equal to W by L of P means I will get TR is equal to 2.5 times TF, okay. So, if I want to equate uh, this one, uh, TR is equal to TF uh, means, so I have to substitute, what I have to substitute, WL by WL of P is equal to 2.5 times of WL of N, 
okay so if i substitute here i will get tr is equal to tf okay so what i have concluded is uh, tr tr and tf is um, inversely proportional to vdd and proportional to cl and the tr value will be greater than f if i am using the same geomet okay so i hope uh, you have understood about this uh, uh, what is rise time and fall time uh, from uh, you can find out the maximum uh, value of frequency f max is equal to 1 divided by 2 r plus 1 divided by tr plus uh, tf okay so thank you